Hello, Diana Caswell here. Today I want to show you how to set up a Google Voice account. It's uh, really simple to do. Uh, first of all, a Google Voice account is an account, it's a program or application that Google has set up that gives you a phone number. It doesn't give you a phone line, it gives you a phone number. And what that phone number will do is forward directly to your cell phone or your landline or any other number that you choose. And this way people can still call you but they don't actually see your home phone number or your cell phone number. And um, you can put this on business cards, on uh, social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. Uh, on your website you can put this anywhere you want and when they're calling they don't actually see the phone number they're calling it's just a nice little piece of privacy for you so that they can't see your actual phone number and so the first thing you need is a Google account which I think most people have if not everyone uh, if not it's really easy to sign up for that as well but go to your um, well actually go to google.com dot voice or slash voice and then sign into the account that you want to use. And then it will ask you some silly things sometimes. Agree to the terms and proceed. And then uh, you can use your mobile number. It doesn't make sense to do that. To me, the, the best part about Google Voice is that it masks your, your mobile number. So I want a new number. You type the number that you're going to be forwarding your calls to, so your cell phone or your home phone. Click Continue. And then Google's going to call you and ask you to verify, and you, you need to enter click call me now of course first and then you need to enter that code into your phone after it asks for it so I'll go ahead and do that okay so I enter the code and then it is all set and then you can enter either a word or phrase or like your area code or zip code and I, uh, I just enter my zip code and then it searches numbers for you and then you just choose whichever one you like and there are more too just so you know you can there's quite a few numbers that you get to choose from I think I'll choose this one and then you click continue and you have already set up Google Voice you are pretty much finished click finish the other thing that you will want to do is click settings up here and then go over to voicemail and text and you want to actually record a new greeting because uh, the the standard greeting for this Google Voice is pretty um, it just doesn't to me it doesn't sound really professional it says something like the Google Voice subscriber is not available um, please leave a message so you can actually use your own voice record a new greeting save it and then that's what people who call will hear when you don't answer so what's going to happen is when you do someone calls your Google Voice number from say your business card it will ring into your cell phone or your home phone whichever number you decided to use and if you don't answer that call actually if you do answer that call it's going to ask you if you want to take the call and if you decide to take the call then you know it, you, the person will be transferred directly to you but if you decide not to take the call or you just let it ring it will automatically go to voicemail and what's nice about that is you will get your voicemails in your inbox just like this and um, first of all it'll tell you what the voicemail says but it'll also play it back for you if you decide to do that and that's it. It's pretty darn simple. I would go ahead and set one up and start using it. That's it. Talk to you later.